Back in the late 90s, Galen Culver featured Tom Love and his original store in a Great State Report. Here's a look back at Love's number one. At what point does something so common simply become part of the landscape? For instance, there are thousands of windmills along the western march of Highway 3. So many you'd hardly notice. Even the animals that drink the water they pump hardly seem to care. But maybe that's because they're so convenient. And so maybe that's why motorists hardly notice the hundreds of love stores along every highway until they need to fill up too. How many stores do you have now? About 140 or 150. Uh, you can thank Tom, Tom Love for the gas, salt and, pepper. and for the sandwiches. But, uh, but it wasn't always this our, way. Our it was 1964 when Tom took over an abandoned gas station in western Oklahoma with no real assets of his own. The idea for Love started uh, after my wife Judy and I had gotten married, and uh, uh, I needed to discover a way of uh, supporting her and, uh, and a, a young family. That old filling station was right here in Watonga. In fact, the company refers to this store as Love's number one. The wash bay in the old original uh, two-bay filling station was right there, and uh, the lube bay was right there and the little sales room was right there in that corner there. In the old days, they just sold gas. Chips and other trinkets came later, around 1972. Loves moved up to the interstates in the early 80s, but Tom could never really leave his first loves. Do you want to always keep it? You gonna oh, try yeah. to keep oh, this yeah. place? Oh yeah, it'd be like selling one of my kids, I think, uh, <laughs> <laughs> to get rid of this. First so, loves yeah, are I, like I, that, I comfortable, know. maybe even taken for granted. Tips but it's sure nice to know they're still there when you need them. In Watonga, Galen Culver News Channel 4. Is this a great state or what? That report again from the late 90s. Tom is survived by his wife of 62 years, Judy. Four children, nine grandchildren, and two great-grandchildren, and two more on the way.